and welcome back to another nail video today i am doing extra long coffin poly gel nails and i'm using beetles clear poly gel alcohol as my slip solution and my gel brush and i'm starting off by applying a very thin layer of the madam glam's base coat to each nail and then i'm going to go ahead and cure these nails for 30 seconds And as you see, I've already prepped my nails off camera and the tips that I'm using today, I did purchase from Amazon. They are the extra long coffin tips by Emihio. And I will leave a link down in the description box for these nail tips, as well as all the products used in today's video, if you're interested. And next, I start where the tip and the natural nail meet, and then I drag that poly gel down towards the tip of the nail. And then I use my gel brush to pat that product down. And I definitely want to make sure that I get enough product to cover the side walls. And I just pat, pat, pat until I get the product nice and smooth. And one good thing about using poly gel is that you can use as much time as you need to get the nail as smooth as possible because the product will, for the most part, stay in place until it's cured. And you can also continue to maneuver or manipulate the product until it's cured. So that is one thing. If you're a beginner nail tech, you might want to try poly gel because it does give you ample time to work with. And moving right along, I place my next bead of poly gel directly above the last. And this time I use my gel brush. I use the tip of my gel brush to push that product back towards the cuticle area. And I'm definitely trying my hardest to get this product as flush as possible with my cuticle. And then I go ahead and blend that product down and if you notice i am taking my time and working the product as much as possible to get the product as smooth as possible which is going to help save me time in the end because i won't have to do so much fouling and then of course i want to definitely clean up my cuticle area so that i don't cure anything on my skin and this is how the nails turn out and then I pretty much repeat these same steps on all my nails. However, for this first finger here, um, I did use a bit more of the poly gel than I intended to use. So I went ahead and did a one bead method on this nail. So if you go ahead and continue to watch, you will see as I create a beautiful nail with one bead of poly gel. And I know you probably see the air bubbles in the product, but I am not too worried about those air bubbles at all. I am going to be doing some beautiful nail art on these nails. So I will be covering them up with gel polish. So again, I'm not too worried about the air bubbles, but if that's something that you would like to change, you can just continue to work the product down to get rid of those air bubbles.
and this is how that nail turned out so cute um, but moving on with my middle finger I went back and did the two bead method and again I placed the product where the tip and the natural nail meet and then I am using my gel brush to pat that product down again I am making sure that I do cover the side walls and I try to keep the shape of the nail as much as possible because that also will save me time in the end when it comes to fouling which you all know I hate I do not like to foul I know it's an important step of doing nails but I am working and trying my hardest to um, have a very smooth application so that my fouling is very limited but I do enjoy doing poly gel nails um, I love the Beatles clear poly gel um, it is a great product in my opinion um, just because I, it's easy to work with um, and it's not like a sticky poly gel which I appreciate um, so yeah if you are interested again I will leave a link down in the description box below for all the products used in today's video and I will also throw in any coupon codes that I have so I will just let you all watch and enjoy my poly gel application And I just wanted to mention that I am curing these nails in between the beads. Um, so I do cure them for 30 seconds in between the beads um, just to make sure that the product stays in place once I have it all nice and smooth and structured. So I go ahead and cure in between.
And these are how the nails look after the application. And then I go ahead and spray them down with some alcohol and wipe off that tacky layer that the poly gel leaves. And then now it's time for my least favorite part to foul and shape these nails. And of course, I am starting off with my 80 slash 80 grit nail foul. And I am using that to foul and shape my sidewalls. Again, these are long coffin nails. So I do want to make sure that I am keeping my file directly up against my sidewall and I am applying a little pressure but then I am also going along the side of the nail if that makes any sense um, so yeah I don't leave too much of the filing part in just a little snippet so that you all can see how it's done and you can see a little behind the scenes of all the sweat and tears <laughs> that go into making these beautiful nails um but yeah i had fun and i love them so much they turned out super cute so yeah can't wait for you all to see Next, I use my Fine Grit Sanding Band and my Melody Susie e file to seal around the cuticle area as well as smooth out the surface of the nail. And these are the nails after they've been foul, shaped, and buffed. And now it's time for that beautiful nail art that I mentioned before. But of course, you know the first step, I am using Madame Glam's base coat. And I'm applying a very thin layer of base coat to each nail. And then I'm going to cure these nails for 30 seconds before I begin my nail art. And these are some of the shades that I will be using in today's video. I love this color. It is a beautiful transparent purple glitter color. Um, and this is from a gel polish set that I did purchase off Amazon. So I will definitely leave the link in the description box down below. And if you have not already guessed it, I am doing different shades of purple in today's video. And I love it. Purple is my favorite color. So I am always down for some purple nails. So I'll go ahead and apply a thin layer of this color to my first finger and my pinky next i am applying this beautiful solid purple gel polish to my middle finger um, and again i'm gonna be applying a very thin layer 
um, just to make sure that the gel polish is nice and even and it will cure properly. And for my ring finger, I decided to do black because I am going to be doing a beautiful blooming gel rose, which it turned out so cute. I'm so excited for you all to see that. So I went ahead and applied a very thin layer of the black gel polish to my ring finger. And these are the nails after two coats of polish. And now I am applying a very thin layer of the blooming gel and I'm just applying it to the top section of the nail because I am going to work in sections. And then I am using my dotting tool and that purple gel polish that I applied on my middle finger to create this beautiful rose, which I will continue down the length of the nail. Um, now one thing I will suggest and I will definitely do next time, I will cure the roses in between um, because if you notice I end up doing three roses on this nail. So I would have cured it in between each rose because the blooming gel it continues to bloom until it's cured. And so I realized kind of towards the end that um, some of the gel polish had faded just a little bit, but that's okay. It still turned out cute. And that's definitely a learning lesson for next time to go ahead and cure those roses after I've completed them. And moving right along on my middle finger, I am using my white gel liner brush i believe this is my beetles white gel liner brush and i am just using it to create some beautiful lips that i am going to be adding some glitter to towards the end of the video and they turned out so cute this was definitely a trust the process moment and i am so glad i did i told myself all 2024 i am stepping out the box outside of my comfort zone and i am trying new things so i hope you all stick around and stay tuned for more nail videos to come with more exciting and creative nail art so yep that is one of my goals for 2024 And I went ahead and applied another thin layer of that white gel polish. And before I cured, I went ahead and added some of this silver glitter and it turned out so cute. And next, I am just using my dotting tool to help create an outline for me for some beautiful hearts, which I also will be adding glitter to. And these are how the nails turned out. I love them. Of course, I added a little bling to make them really shine and they turned out so cute. Just look, uh, 
I love them. They are gorgeous. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next nail video.